Hello everyone, welcome to Ancient Mystery. We've got another great episode coming up. We're going to talk about the Pakal sarcophagus. Is he an astronaut? Is he something else? What's going on? Well, in this video we're going to talk about Palenque and that amazing sarcophagus that people have been talking about since the 40s. I think it was from the 40s. This is that pagan church in Germany I've told you about. It's in Zorst. I still haven't got around to making a video, but here you can see what appears to be a Celtic cross, but it's in Germany. So this is some primordial symbol. And here we have the Myers in the Yucatan Peninsula, and any fleet sailing from anywhere in the old world would essentially crash into, into the Yucatan Peninsula eventually. And coming back, they would basically hit Britain or they could turn and they could hit Normandy or Spain. And we have different old world representations of this character, the hanged man, and he's actually hanging on world tree and he's gaining wisdom. He's sort of nailed to world tree. And the ancients just had this, this bizarre idea that you could you could somehow channel the information of the universe if you're attached to World Tree and this has filtered into Christianity, it's filtered into various different religions over time. This is a picture of Odin and he supposedly gave one of his eyes to gain wisdom and to get the rest of the wisdom he attached himself somehow to World Tree. And you see there are snakes below and Above is basically heaven. World Tree is located on a very tall mountain. It's the closest you can get to heaven from Earth. And then we have this. And it is just bizarre. And people have talked about this and said it's an astronaut. Archaeologists have talked about it and they have said it's not an astronaut. They've said it is simply a man on World Tree. Here is Middle Earth. Here is the tree shaped like, shaped so much like that Celtic cross from Germany which is rather interesting. So that alone proves transatlantic contact. And on top you have a bird. Here are the gods. This man is facing upwards, facing towards heaven, but he's sort of attached, he's holding onto the branches. And below you have hell, the fires of hell, below World Mountain, inside World Mountain. That's the standard view. Here is Yggdrasil, and the snake below, the Snake of Eden. Uh, this is uh, the World Tree. This is one representation. World Tree is located on top of this mountain, or near this mountain. It is a mountain religion. And what I'm getting at is this. This seems to be just a man attached to World Tree, but if this was representing an astronaut, here is the capsule, here, is, here are the flames, the chemical flames, the fires and he's going towards heaven, how would a Stone Age person represent this? He would actually represent this against the picture of World Tree, because World Tree shows one level, Middle Earth, a higher level, Heaven, and a lower level, Hell. So this is actually the only way an ancient person could represent the heavens, someone traveling from Earth to the heavens, and they would present it as a spiritual journey and a sort of ascendance. This here is the Zb Zbruch idol in Poland. This was found in a swamp in Ukraine. And it's just unbelievable. What it represents is man, Middle Earth, here. Here is a giant underneath the Earth holding everything up, almost like Atlas, holding up the world, though. It's a bit of a variation on the Germanic mystery. And here you have the gods above in Asgard. And one of them is even holding a ring. He's possibly the Lord of the Ring. We'll get to him in another video. So this shows the three levels of existence. And if we go back to the Pakal tomb, it's just sort of a similar thing. So you have the Hellfire below, you have the world here, and this man is somehow, he's going up to heaven. And that's how it's presented. So it's a bit mythology and possibly a bit technology. Well, that was actually quite remarkable. 
Join me again next week or tomorrow or whenever I have the time for another video and you're going to enjoy it, I hope, and thumbs up, sub, whatever. See ya.